So this is an 18 tip, seven and a half inch cast iron duct jet burner. Um, I'm assuming it's called jet burner or a duct jet burner because of the shape of these uh, nozzles, these tips here. They're shaped in kind of like a bill of a duck. Kind of interesting. Um, so this is a burner that I'm going to use in my outdoor walk station. So you've been following me, check out, uh, or if you haven't seen it, check out my video um, for my outdoor walk station if that interests you. But uh, for that, I built my own uh, jet burner and it worked really well. However, I wanted something with just a little bit more energy on the outside of the walk, not just centered in the center. This will give me the center and a little bit more outside, whereas my jet burner is only around this wide. Um, around three inches in diameter and while it's extremely hot um, for for some applications I wanted a burner that was just a little bit wider so um, so I purchased this I got this off eBay for about I think eighty dollars with shipping um, it works uh, really well I've just tried it really quickly um, after uh, I'm done describing this I'll uh, I'll put some video at the end of this working now when it came shipped to me, all these nozzles were turned all in different directions, kind of like in the center here. I'd have to still fix these up. But these ones here, um, these rotate so you can adjust them a little bit anyway. There's a little bit of adjustability. And I want all my flame energy kind of focused more in just a little bit like that. Whereas before, some of these were folk turned outward, so the flame was shooting out this way and out this way. If you have a really large pot, I could see um, you might want to adjust those a little bit depending on your application. Now, it's made out of cast iron. It has a half inch um, female iron fitting. Um, so I have it threaded to a male iron fitting to a quick release for propane. Um, you can get these in propane and natural gas from what I've found. I needed one for propane. I'm running it on a high pressure regulator. Um, I've tried it from four to eight PSI so far. It works great. Um, the adjustability of this is really nice as well. Now, um, as I mentioned, this part here is made out of cast iron. These um, tips are made out of, uh, looks like a cast bronze. Other, there are other burners out there that I've noticed. It looks like they're made from more of a machine brass. Um, I think this is bronze or brass, I'm not quite sure. It doesn't look to be the best quality, but it's a burner, it's probably fine. Um, so these tips, like I said, rotate and I rotate them all in, but you can rotate them any way you like. And the way this works is I'll take this one off completely. So these tips come off. And let me see if I can focus in on this. It's threaded here and then propane shoots out of the the little tiny orifice right here and this little part is threaded into the burner into the base I should say and then there's threads on the top so this is a double thread there's a thread on the bottom and a thread on the top and then this threads into this and that's what gives it a little degree of adjustability now what happens is propane shoots through and then it draws air in through these um, these intakes here through the Venturi effect and it shoots out through the end and then this redirects the flame so it lights right about here and then you have your flame so it's pretty simple um, again so these are cast bronze so that's about it not much to it um, it weighs you know I don't know a couple pounds five pounds maybe maybe six, seven pounds, five to seven pounds. And uh, I'm gonna build a mount for it and mount it in my walk station. But before I do that, um, in this video, I'm just gonna show you what this flame looks like because I couldn't find too many videos online of how this burner was assembled, the quality. So hopefully this video will help out you guys out there. If you're thinking about buying a burner like this or similar, exactly like this or similar to this, the construction, my, uh, my assumption is they're all very similar. So. I'm going to wait until it gets dark and then I'm going to fire it up and just show you the adjustability and how well it runs. Alright, so I got the burner outside. I got it plumbed up to some propane here. So you can see it right there. I'm going to 
ball valve on it. It's going to create a flow propane. So I'm going to light it. So I have the ball valve about a quarter of the way open and you see you get a fair amount of control with this. So I got it right down to like a little little tiny flame. But then when I crank it, so I'll go about half. That's about half. And then this is at full. And the flame's approximately 16 inches or so. Um, I can't really tell because it's still a little bright out. But incredible amount of power. I can just feel the heat when it's on. I feel it all the way out to here. And this is running at 5 PSI on propane. So there you go. That's the... Uh, the 18 tip um, cast iron duck jet duck burner. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. One other thing that occurred to me after filming, um, and so just one quick other thing, is this. This burner, uh, I don't know how efficient it is only in the sense because even at high power you still get a lot of flame that has yellow now my other burner that I built myself I get a complete blue flame um, um, at full power however this one even at full power I get a sooty flame so just as a warning it, it this will cause some soot to build up on your pots so if that's something of concern that that might be an issue but uh, other than that the burner works great right there there's still some a flame that's yellow and orange meaning with that yellow and orange flame it's not complete combustion so that will create some uh, carbon on the bottom of your pots and pans